Hey, everybody! Welcome to the Magical Kit Kat Radio Show, podcast video extraordinaire. Today we have our very first guest ever on the show. And those of you who follow and know me well know that this is no stranger to the channel or my life. Uh, it's my bestie and my wifey, Katie, with Good Hi. Life Doll, soon to be dolls, underscore. Yeah, like legit soon to be dolls. Like, like hours ago. God, I know. I'm so excited. We're going to have two dolls. So y'all know that Katie, my BFF, you probably saw her in the amazing Pokemon collab I wanna be the very best, like no one ever was. Um, where she did fabulous work. But today is all about Katie because she opened an Etsy shop, which is pretty exciting. Yeah. And so, how could I not feature you? Oh no, that would just be really rude. It's <laughs> so rude. 99.9% .9 of all my jewelry has been made by you. So, why don't you go ahead and um, introduce yourself? Like, I know I introduced you, but like, introduce yourself your own way. Just to say a couple things about you. I am Katie from Good Life Doll. I kind of got into all of this like hobby from Kat. She roped me in, what, in the fall of 2020 when she was streaming a lot um, and was determined for me to get a smart doll. Uh, totally happened. Can't be held responsible. That's who I am. I am very crafty. That's just my nature. Um, that I like being crafty and organized. It's a weird combination. I'm fun-sized and adorable. Um, play video games. Love my video games. Um, play D&D. &D. Um, I have cats. Two cats. I love them so much. I love dogs, but I love my cats. And then just doing house projects and stuff. Like, I don't know, I like interior design. I like all of those things. So you talked a little bit about you being crafty, but what inspired you to actually like start a shop? Mm -hmm. If you're gonna give me a cop-out answer that I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw an add-in. So what inspired you to start the shop and why accessories? What inspired me to start my shop? Uh, you. <laughs> That's, that's my cop-out answer. <laughs> I don't have a shop. <laughs> the reason like that you inspired me of like to actually move forward with it is because I mean, I'm, I'm extroverted like with my close friends and people that know me well, but outside of that, I'm really introverted and I don't usually put myself out there. It's just like not my nature without like, help and guidance and push right when like i first started making necklaces and whatnot we were chatting about it and you were like oh my gosh katie like you should make these for other people you should like do something with that um and then when we did that giveaway thing i like threw in some of the stuff that i was making like the blankets and um the jewelry that i had started making there like had been feedback of like hey people are interested in like what you're creating, what you're making. So it kind of put me on that that trend of like, okay, if I'm getting this feedback, I'm getting this positive reinforcement here. Plus when I'm buying stuff to like make my own necklaces, I still have a surplus of other like beads, charms, etc. and supplies. So why not share that? Because more than likely the things that I'm making, there's probably other people that would be searching for that, that maybe they can't find on Etsy currently, maybe they can't find on like websites of other like creators, or maybe they just aren't super savvy with like jewelry making. And then why accessories? Why jewelry? Why all of that stuff? I love accessories and jewelry. Um, I have an entire like full length mirror that's like a, a jewelry like armoire thing 
Yeah, it's very magical <laughs> and it lights up on the inside, so it's like <gasps> oh. so bougie. I actually used to like make jewelry and stuff with my sister when I was younger. Kind of already had experience, had practice with that. What are your influences or like inspiration for the accessories and pieces that you've created? Because it's not just jewelry. You've done like blankets. With blankets, as far as like what inspired me to go that route, um, I like blankets. I like comfy things. It's just, uh, it's my nature. I have a blanket right now. Ooh. <laughs> I always have a blanket at all times. So it's like a comfort thing. It's, yeah, I totally uh, get it. I mean, immediately I knew that I would want to like do blankets because it's a comfort item. I like it. Um, plus when I was coming down to see you in May, like I wanted to have something to like protect her. So I don't I ever go anywhere without a blanket with the girls. Like even if I put them in the smart doll bag, I always wrap them in one of your blankets. Whenever we go out for adventures, photography, travel, it's become like not only a comfort item for them, but it's become like just to have, have to have anywhere we go. I love your pieces and I'm not just saying that because I love you, but like every time I'm like changing out the girls' outfits, I always go for your necklaces. All of the reason, like the different designs that I, I choose are for reasons of like things that really draw my eye. So I love Zodiac stuff. I am a huge freaking nerd with Zodiac stuff. Like I have a tattoo plan that's gonna be Zodiac related. I like stuff that's like, eclectic but like minimalistic and like elegant so like I mean even if you look at like what I'm wearing right now right it's just like a gold regular chain. like gold chain and then this is actually one that I made um of like a little fox right and it's just like simple minimalistic not a whole lot going on but it gives I love it that little yeah. fox is so cute you, I thought it was just perfect for like fall. I'm going to be inserting photos of my girls modeling my top 10 favorite pieces that you made, which was really hard to narrow it down to 10. So what about your future? Future projects? Anything really exciting? Or like anything you want to like drop? I was like, this is, might be a little weird, like with me just like <laughs> sitting here, like eyebrow raising. I actually do have like some upcoming projects that are coming. We'll be doing a photo shoot and taking pictures of some of the new pieces I'm dropping for fall. Fall is one of my favorite, favorite seasons. Um, I love all of just like the warm, cozy kind of vibes. I'm working on some like branching out and doing some more like hair accessories. I know I started like, when we came down to Texas, started making some, but I'm kind of tweaking things um, and changing it a little bit. Um, so I'm going to be working on that. And I then love kind of, the hair accessories you've made me. I made those ones um, specific for your Hades cosplay that you did recently. Oh my Ripples. gosh. I mean, tying it back into what we were talking about earlier, I want to, you know, be adding to and figure out doing like matching sets for like wanting to match your smart doll, right? Like having a human sized version and then having a smart doll sized. Um, I think one of the necklaces, it was a necklace I made for like my Pocahontas um, Disney bounding costume. And I had made that necklace. That was like the first one that I made smart doll size. My husband had shown like a picture of it to one of his coworkers. And she was like, oh my gosh, would, would your wife make me a human size one? And I'm like, oh, well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. I just feel like there's, there's probably some people out there that want to be able to match, want to offer that as a, an option to be able to have that. And you like are able to have a piece that you can wear yourself too. A question that I just thought of that I didn't prep you for. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just kidding. That's uh, it. Uh, okay. So you, like, whenever I do cosplays, I always really love reaching out to you and now Alex, because Alex is wanting to get into do, like, mm -hmm. more crafting, because I love 
showcasing you guys and you're like my favorite people on the planet so like why would I not to take that opportunity to be able to be like my friends are amazing check them out give them love because you deserve it and it's also really fun because I love collabs I have felt that way about any job that I've had where like when you're working with other people you meet your maximum potential because you've got people with different level of skills and strengths and where maybe you like where maybe I have a weakness you have a strength in something that like I don't have like an eye for or ability to do so with that being said I don't know what your thoughts are on like custom requests if like someone were to reach out to you and be like hey I'm planning this cosplay I would really love a hair piece or a necklace like is that something you would be open to and what would your limitations for that be I've actually already had someone reach out to me for like a commission piece so that is something that I am open to and wanting to be able to offer um, I also want to like hear feedback and input of if there's certain things that you're wanting to see like in my shop or things that maybe you're having a hard time finding reach out to me let me know send me a message on Etsy send me a message on Instagram you can find me in one of the two smart doll groups that I'm in smart doll friends and then smart doll appreciation that's something that I would love to offer and I'm more than happy to do that. And then I get to geek out and nerd out on like fun things. So it's, it's a good time for both of us. As far as like limitations, obviously um, knowing that it would be a custom order, pricing would be a little bit different. We would chat about that one-on-one -on -one, um, and also wanting to talk about length of time, like how quickly are we needing this feasibly? I need a little bit of time to do custom orders because not like everything that goes into a custom is I'm doing research, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to create what you're wanting to, you know, have created. Um, plus I'm needing to go out and figure out like which, what tools and what like supplies am I going to need. And then on top of that, I work a full-time job. If anyone purchases from my store, I'm usually getting it out usually by the next day. Um, so I'm shipping it out pretty quick. It just, it wouldn't look like that um, for a custom order. Making these necklaces, making these like blankets and branching out to other stuff is really like my self care. Like it's how I just feel good. Um, so I don't want it to ever get to a point where it doesn't feel that way. I have to kick my own butt sometimes and be like, is this coming from a place of fun and happiness or is this coming from a place of obligation mm -hmm. you know so like doing this this is not coming from a place of obligation this is coming from a place of love because i love i adore you and i want to support you in any way that i can i just think what you're doing is really great and i'm really proud of you and not like i'm and like, I don't know, some, maybe it sounds like facetious of me to be like, I'm proud of you. But I'm like, I'm proud of you because I love what you do. I'm proud of you for taking time to do something for yourself that makes you feel good. Because I know you work so hard. You're so good at your job. And you're an amazing wife. You're an amazing friend. You're a giver in all aspects of your life. So I really love when you get to take some time for yourself and bringing it back in and just being like, this is for me. And that's so healthy and so important. So I'm proud of you for that. I, will, I mean, I am, I am proud of myself for, for doing this and following what I want to do. Now I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna do me. I don't care. Like if other people don't like it, tough. Like I'm proud of myself. I took these steps and I've become more vocal about it um, on my personal accounts and more vocal about it just within conversation with peers, with coworkers, with friends, any of that stuff. So I'm not hiding it 
that's so relatable for so many people that are watching this. There is so much fear when it comes to things that are considered out of the norm, like you said. But what is normal? Subjective. Subjective. A hundred percent. So thanks for sharing that. And I hope that the people that are watching let free and let go. Just yeah. let live. Confidence, reminding who you're doing it for. And knowing that you're not alone as far mm-hmm. as feeling that way. Never. Um, and even if it's not the same hobby, one thing that I'm trying to learn is even if I don't understand to be respectful, even if I don't relate in the way of like, I have the same interest, be respectful, be supportive. Basically, don't yuck my yum, right? Like, (laughs) don't yuck my yum. Have you heard that phrase before? No, and I love it. (laughs) No yucking the yum. You never yuck my yum. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you. Um, Thank you for having me. I love you. I am so excited to celebrate you this time. I get to celebrate just you. Thanks for doing this. I know it's not easy to come out and talk about stuff. Uh, Especially when I was like, hey, I'm doing it like in three days. So I hope you're ready. Thank you for being here. Everybody who's watching, my sassiness is coming out now. Uh, Make sure that if you don't, that you go in onto the Instagram and you like in good life doll underscore and going on to the Etsy and favorite in the shop. Okay, I'm gonna be showing off these so some pieces here that may have not dropped yet, but may drop in the future. So if you like it, you don't see it in the shop, send her a message and be like, hey, I like that. I like that a lot. I saw that on Magical Girl Kit Kats thing. Can I, can I have one of those? <laughs> You made my cheeks hurt. (laughs) I love this community so much. Like, I haven't been in it for very long, but it's, like, it's very, even when I started, very welcoming, very supportive. And if you have a question, someone's going to help you answer it and help you navigate, like, to an answer if they don't know. Um, So this community is by far one of the best communities that I've ever been a part of. And... I don't say that lightly. It's my happy, feel-good place. It's a happy, feel-good place for everyone. It should be. And if it's not, then... Why the heck you dare? Yeah, then go- goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. Don't yuck my yum. Don't yuck my yum. <laughs>